Hello, my name is uh, David Poppy, and I'm back here with the X31 and uh, going to go through another modification I'm fixing to make in it. I've, uh, one of the downfalls to a multi machine, especially when you're talking about the uh, joiner planer aspect of it, is that they have short beds. And uh, I'm fixing to do a project where I have some long pieces I need to join. So I'm going to work on today uh, making bed extensions out of some 6061 aluminum, three quarters of an inch thick. And uh, I'll end up really leaving my infeed bed on here permanently because I don't use the uh, planer function anymore. I just use the joiner function of the two. I have a standalone planer that I use other than that. So here we go. All right, I'm going to cut the two grooves in the plate. One groove for one plate that's uh, going on the out feed and one groove on the other plate that's going on the in feed. This same router setup that I used to actually cut the groove in the, uh, the tabletop. Essentially doing the same thing, you're cutting a three quarter inch wide groove, although this one I'll end up putting some tape on here to uh, make it a little bit look, look just a little bit larger. There it is, a nice proof. So this plate here is essentially an extra extension plate that can be mounted either on the out feed or the in feed side. And it's going to be connected between, between the two with a uh, quarter inch aluminum plate.
So this inside edge of the uh, plate, being that you got the leveling screws right here, ends up raising it up out of the uh, groove a little bit. Make sure we got enough groove to hold this plate from sliding back. This is the uh, entry plate. I'm um, adding some quarter inch uh, stock here, raising it, uh, raising it up so that it'll catch that lip. I'll just cut this piece off off this end here. And I'm just installing them with rope ends. Drill it, pin it. side of the uh, bar and then we'll be ready for installation feed table down. either direction so we are level across between the two beds all right now it's just a matter of installing the hold down bracket I just had some uh, extra little pieces of uh, scrap steel that uh, were already bent here with uh, threaded connections so it worked out perfect So, polishing out these uh, plates, start out with 120, 
150, 220, 320, 400, and just step it on up. You can actually go all the way up, you know, to four or five thousand and get a mirror finish if you wanted to. But uh, I'm going to stop at 400. That's a, really the uh, the finest uh, paper I got for this uh, pad. Uh, when you put this paper on here, do not align up the holes. You don't want this thing to be uh, pulling any of that WD-40 in with you that you're using to uh, polish this with. So just rotate it over to where the holes are covered. Just a quick recap on uh, what was used here. Uh, we ended up with uh, an in feed bed of 81 inches from the edge in front of the uh, joiner to the end of the table. The out feed table is 45 inches. It's made out of 3 quarter inch 60 61 aluminum flat bar. Uh, not plate, but flat bar. I found that it was. Uh, a lot cheaper to get the flat bar. Uh, flat bar tends to be a little bit, a little bit uh, better tolerances than the uh, plate does. And of course, you already have the stray edges on the side. Uh, I bought it from Axometry, and I'll put a link to it up there in the top. And uh, they did an excellent job making the cuts; they were just perfect. So there you go. Not that hard. They come on, on and off easy. Like I said, I'm, I'll be leaving my in feed on. I'll never take it off. But uh, the out feed, that'll be quick and easy to, to remove when I need to. And that's it. Thank you.